Welcome this is a demo for the online nesting service Idronic and Apta. This video will demonstrate the dynamics of how a online quote from DXFs or DWGs works in LaserQuote and RANFAB. We begin with the customer experience. This is the customer interface and part of that is the instant quote button. The importer pops up as a separate window and it allows for importing, extracting and cleaning CAD files for the purpose of using a cutting pattern to quote on. The customer selects one or many CAD files to add to the quote. This process can be repeated as many times as necessary. The native CAD file can be seen in this section as originally drawn. The CAD layers contained in the CAD files are visible here. The customer can extract only the necessary cutting pattern by selecting the relevant layer for each drawing, or by selecting the cutting layer, S in one action for all the selected drawings. As you can see here in the imported section you can now selectively pick what you want priced from this file. This is achieved by simply clicking on the flat pattern. The selections have been imported and the customer can now assign materials and quantities to each part. The supplier of the material can also be selected as your company or theirs and the grain restriction allows for three settings 90, 180 and any. Material and quantity can be set either in bulk if common to multiple parts or on a part by part basis. Only material types that you define as available will be visible here. When entering data in for each line you can navigate as you would a spreadsheet using the tab key. Tabbing out of a field will automatically save the entry. We will now log out from the customer perspective and log into the main interface while the quote is being nested and emailed to the customer. You will notice a new tab called Quote Fab. These are some of the settings that contribute to the results of an online quoted part. This option defines the method of attributing scrap value to a part when the parts are nested in a common material. The difference between the options is explained in our support portal. This value defines the minimum size plate that you would consider returning to stock and not charge to the client.
These are different methods of applying a trim cut for the end of the nest and therefore reporting relevant material data. This is where you select a staff member which shall receive an email message if a nest request has failed to complete for any reason. One of these reasons could be that a part requested was larger than the largest material size you have made available to the nest engine. The failed message will be displayed also in the dashboard and all the cleaned and extracted DXFs together with the nest file for quote fab will be attached, so then the user can contact the customer or complete the quote manually. This option instructs the nesting service to either nest the parts together if the material is common or perform a separate nest for each part. The time per nest defines the length of time in seconds that each nest will be taking. We recommend between 30-50 seconds but the longer the time the better the accuracy and efficiency of the nest. This delivery time option will be used into the generated quote. This section displays all the materials added to be available into the online quoting system. For each material you can select multiple supplier products with different sizes. We recommend at least two sizes. The nesting engine will perform a nest in each size and report a quote for the most efficient size. Let's look now for the quote created. One more parameter needs to be explained first. In the cutting speed table for each material you need to define the spacing between parts to be used in the quoting process. Our online quote has now been generated and ready to be accessed. This is the PDF file that the customer has received in their email. Navigating to one of the parts we can see the picture of the part attached ready to be added to all your other internal documentation. Inside the laser work item we have a number of attachments. One is a DXF of the full nest, one is the cleaned and extracted DXF for the part in question and another is the actual quote fab file. This file can be opened as follows. Here we can see and interact with the actual nest generated by the nesting service. This concludes our presentation.